Hi guys, welcome to Making Mindfulness Fun. So in this series, we're talking about how anger affects each Enneagram. And in this specific video, we're talking about why type fives get angry. So if this is your first time to our channel, here at Making Mindfulness Fun, we help you on your journey to higher consciousness so you can experience more joy, love, and emotional liberation. Please though, make sure before we finish to start this video, please make sure that you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and turn on post notifications because we're doing an entire series on Enneagram and Anger. We don't want you to miss a single video in the series. All right, type fives. Remember, avarice. You're a little bit greedy with your time and your energy, and you don't like people you know, invading that space. So it's really important for type fives, one, to catch that, to notice, am I getting angry because I wanted to finish this project before I moved on to helping somebody else? I know for my son, who's a type five, he is so caring, so giving, but when he does get angry, it's because he had an expectation in his mind that either one, he didn't hold himself accountable to with his schedule, or two, that he didn't communicate to me or whoever's asking something of him. He's so great at giving, but he wants to be able to feel in control of when he's giving and how much he's giving. Yeah, and I think a big one for type fives is that they are very factual driven, they're very analytical, and they use these to the best of their abilities, and they have a true appreciation for the facts, and sometimes people don't really feel the same way, to be <laughs> honest, and the, so they'll be like, dude, I found all this information for you on this thing, and I'm so proud of myself for giving it to you, and they're like, okay, cool, bye, and then that can be very upsetting to them, but they're like, I worked really hard on that. I really worked hard on that information and it wasn't appreciated. So noticing our expectation when we're going with other people, okay, what do I expect from this person after I give in my way to them? And what do I, how can I make this more self-fulfilling? Yeah, and so I think the anger a lot of times comes from that sense of, um, you invaded my time and my energy because type fives really care a lot about those two things, but they do have to remember that their growth is to kind of step into that heart chakra openness and giving this. So like you said, set a boundary of I'm willing to give this, I'm willing to not give this. And type fives, remember you grow to be a type eight, which is much more of the challenger and a little bit more intensity. So even though like you wouldn't think with anger, you should throw intensity on it, but you might feel anger because you need to step into a bigger goal. You might be, you know, a lot of type fives can find themselves lost in acquiring data, watching some video, researching, and their whole day goes by. And while that's super self-fulfilling, it might be creating uh, happiness in the day, but not necessarily future happiness. You could find that your uh, anger is stemming from the fact that you're like, oh, I don't know how to take this next step. Because type fives, a lot of times, while you require or acquire a lot of information, you don't necessarily integrate that to the next step, to the next project, to finishing a project. Mm -hmm. So just catch, try to know where that anger is stemming from, internal, external, and hold yourself a little bit more accountable both in your schedule, write it out, plan ahead. It's much better to be proactive than reactive. And last, maybe you can allow a little bit more uh, Flex in your day, maybe a little more fun. Like it doesn't have to always be so systematic. Yeah, and last thing too is especially noticing where that anger comes from. The last thing that I think will help the most is that, like we talked about in the previous videos, uh, type ones in the anger triad, four, five, or er, three, four, and five are sorry, two, three, and four mm -hmm. got it in my head. Two, three, and four are in the shame triad, but the five is in the fear triad. So a lot of your anger stems from a feeling of fear. So it can often play out that you're like, okay, I'm afraid of not having enough knowledge. So I spend all my time researching, 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 and then I feel frustrated because I drained myself. Or you have, you act from fear often. And so noticing what the core desire is or the core reason if it's based in fear when you do things. So notice, yeah. yeah sometimes awesome. they even just get angry at themselves for being afraid, don't mm -hmm. you think? That yeah. for sure. I would add the fear of, um, first it's a fear of not having enough information. And then the bigger one is the fear of doing the wrong thing with the information. You're like, okay, I got all this. I know all the data. And if I choose, what if I choose wrong? And so what my recommendation is, is to play out best case, worst case scenario. You know, we don't have, there's never, never is there a guarantee, but if you can play out what the worst case scenario is, 
and then use your your logical brain because you have such a gift with that to think well what is the probability of that worst case scenario and is there other things i can do but please pull the trigger you got it type fives because you definitely have the knowledge and the resources to make amazing things happen and anger is a good indicator that you're probably on the right path you just need to push yourself a little bit further. Mm -hmm. So please leave a comment below if you are a type five and this video resonates. And if you know a type five in your life, share this video with them because I guarantee it'll help them a lot. And stay tuned for our type six Enneagram and Anger video.